Hi there and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we're looking at how to name this organic compound. So we have this one here. So I have a structure here. So how do I name this compound? Um, first things first, this is this is called the skeletal structure of a compound. Now, how do I name this? My first task, as usual, is to find the longest continuous carbon chain. If I start from this end, I can have one, two, three four five so i have five here all right i could still have from here three four five i still have five here okay i could still have four five so majorly i'm having like five as the longest continuous carbon chain let me try from another end let's take one two three four five so i'm still having five um, let me branch to another direction. One, two, three. Let's take care of four. Let's take care of five. So if you try this whichever way, your longest continuous carbon chain would be five. All right. So you can just pause this video and see if you can get a longest continuous carbon chain more than five. Most likely you wouldn't. So I'll be taking this as my numbering. One, two, three, four, and five. So I have five as the longest continuous carbon chain. So I'll call this my parent atom. Hence, I'll have this as my parent atom, this one here. So this goes this way. Let me circle it so that we could we can always remember which is which. So I'll circle it so we can always remember which is which. Um, okay. Okay. All right, so I'm circling this. This is becomes my parent carbon chain. So I have me five of them. So how do I number this is the next question. Now, when it comes to numbering, if you look at this, this compound is almost symmetrical because if I start from the left end, I have one, two. So this one here is at number two, three, four. This one here is at number four, while this particular substituent is in number three. If I start from the right end, I'm having one, two, three that's this and then four so observe that even if i start from the left end to number or the right end these two substituents are at the same positions which are two and four from both ends also this one here is at three so it's the same thing technically so i would choose to start from the left to the right um taking off this let me take off this this parents this longest continuous carbon chain all right, so how do I name this? Now, the first thing to notice is that at every junction or at every point, there's a carbon atom. That means in this case, I have a carbon atom here, one, a carbon atom here, two, a carbon atom here, three, a carbon atom here, four, a carbon atom here, five, a carbon atom here, six, a carbon atom here, seven, a carbon atom here, eight, and a carbon atom here, nine. So this is called the skeletal structure of a compound. So at every bend or at every end, or at every junction there's always a carbon atom so which of them what's my longest continuous carbon chain if i do my numbering okay um let's start from this carbon here i can go one two three obviously this can't be my longest continuous carbon chain so let me switch over i'm having two three four five so i have like five carbon atoms okay let's still proceed to another direction so this is three i can see have here as four and then five or perhaps four and then we can have this as five um still the same thing okay let's start from the other end let me start from uh, which end okay let me take this one here i can have one two three four five i'm still having five let me go the other direction um three four five so if you look at this, you can pause and just try this. Whichever direction you take, the longest continuous carbon chain is always five. Okay, so having said that, what's next? My next task now is to see how do I number? Should I number from the left end, that's from here, all the way to the right end, or from the right end, that's from here, all the way to the left end? Now, in this, if I look at this compound very well, if I choose to number from here, let's say the left end, I'm having one, two, three four and five observe that this one here becomes a substituent now it's a substituent because it's not part of the parent carbon atom 
and this substituent here is at carbon 4 look at this this is attached to carbon 4 and also this substituent here is attached to carbon 2 so my substituents are on carbon 2 and carbon 4 while this other substituent while this other substituent is attached to carbon 3 so hence my substituents are on carbon 2 4 and 3 okay now let's switch it let's switch it and let's see what we get all right let's switch it and see what we get um so if i switch to the right and i'm having one carbon two carbon three carbon four and carbon five all right so looking at this you'd see that um the substituent this one here is still attached to carbon two this one here is still attached to carbon four this one here is still attached to carbon three so it's still two four three that means it's the same thing from both ends so for that that reason here it means i can number this from any point that i choose or from any direction since both end gives me the same result all right so um having said so i will choose my numbering from any of the ends knowing that they are the same thing from both sides so hence i'll pick um this as carbon one this as carbon two this one here as carbon three this as carbon four and this as carbon five all right the other carbons not part of this parents carbon atoms are called the substituents now looking at this i have just one carbon here and we know that a one carbon substituent is actually ch3 which is what there a methyl so i have methyl here so this is a methyl also i have another one carbon atom or one carbon atom substituent that's another methyl so i have methyl here now for this one i have a two carbon um substituent that's this i and i i two carbon substituents and two carbon substituents is actually an ethyl so i have this compound so having considered all of this let's name this compound first things first longest continuous carbon chain was five five as we know it is a pent okay so if I, i'm having pent there um number two is your functional group which in this case is a single bond so this compound is literally a single bond that's an alkene so alkene that becomes a pentane so this is rule one longest continuous carbon chain five that gives you pent rule two your functional group which is an a single bond the functional group here is a single bond and the single bond belongs to the class of homologous series known as the alkene or the alkenes if i combine these two pent and alkane gives you a pentane so this compound is a pentane okay let's add in substituents um when it comes to substituents here when it comes to substituents um let's take from alphabetical order so from alphabetical order i'm taking e before m right so e ethyl ethyl is attached to carbon three so it becomes three ethyl so this compound the name is three ethyl okay going back to the, the the diagram there you can see that i also have methyl methyl is attached to carbon two here and carbon this methyl here to carbon four so that means i have two methyls to at position two and four so it becomes two four since i have two methyls it becomes dimethyl all right so three ethyl two four dimethyl then the parent carbon atom pent and then the single bond becomes pentane so this pentane all right so this compound is called three ethyl two four dimethyl pentane all right so you can look at this is called three ethyl okay two four dimethyl pentane so this is how we name this compound all right let me give you a task to do so you look at this compound here look at this one here if you have this compound right all right so you have this compound here please leave the name of this compound in the comment section all right so this is your task you have this compound here so name this compound leave the answer in the comment section 
all right so if you enjoyed this video please make sure you like this video okay comment the name of the compound there in the comment section all right if it's your first time please subscribe to this channel for more content and also don't forget to share this content to your friend so that they can also learn and finally i have a complete organic chemistry course on my website all right so my website is simply visit www.journalemmanuel.com forward slash courses all right so this is my website all right so when you go to this check the courses you see organic chemistry course Right, the organic chemistry course contains all the homologous series from alkenes to alkenes to alkynes, alcohols, ethers, esters, um, aldehydes, ketone, amides, and amines, all of them explained in details, also including their nomenclature, their preparation, their reactions, etc. So if you're interested in getting this course, simply get the course from my website. Okay. If you need assist in getting the course, please send me a message on WhatsApp, all right? Um, plus two three four nine zero. 3255-8166, all right, send me a message, um, a WhatsApp message, and I will help you in getting the course. Thank you, and see you in the next class.